so in this video we'll be talking about the kerberos unconstrained derivation so the derivation in the sense uh, impersonating or as another user or escalating to the higher privileges so let's see what uh, is the problem for this and why there is a derivation uh, for this so let's say normal user and we have the web server and we have these resources server so the first one can be the file uh, share and second one can be uh, like uh, backup and third one is database server so we have these servers and user wants to access the resources on these servers uh, generally the web server have the web service account right, uh, which was created by the domain administrator so like IIS web service uh, service account and normal web service account so those uh, accounts does not have access to all of the resources on these uh, uh, servers uh, because not all the resources uh, or the data can be accessed by these uh, service accounts so the service accounts have this limited capacity whenever the user wants to access his personal data on these uh, servers then uh, this uh, web server will generally uh, request to this database server and this database server does not know which user is uh, asking for this data so uh, that's why microsoft introduces this delegation so in this delegation uh, we will also have the domain controller so what uh, what is going on is this user will request for the tgs for this web server so the user will request the tgt uh, from the domain controller and after the tgt he will request for the uh, tgs for this web service whenever we he got the tgs uh, for the web service uh, the user will be sending uh, to this web service the tgt uh, inside this tgs so what this web server does is uh, this uh, user tgt will be copied into the tgs request and will be sent to this uh, database server uh, the database server will see the user's TGT inside the TGS and database server identifies that this request is coming from this user and and uh, let's this also checks whether the user have the access to the particular uh, data or not and then it will uh, uh, send the TGS and will actually fetch the data so this is how uh, this operates in simple terms uh, the user tgt will be uh, copied so there will be second request from the user to domain controller so the user will uh, fetch this uh, tgt two times and that will be placed in the tgs request of this web server to this database server and then afterwards uh, the data will be transferred to this user in the response so what is meant by Kerberos unconstrained delegation? Unconstrained delegation in the sense this uh, computer, this machine, web server machine is delegated, uh, is trusted for the delegation. That means this web server can impersonate as any user in this domain. Now user can, user one can uh, try to uh, access the data and this web server can impersonate as this user one and then uh, another user too and that can also be impersonated by this web server because this web server is trusted by the domain controller for the derivation so this is the unconstrained derivation there is there are no constraints over this derivation let's go to users and computers here we have only one computer uh, if you right click on this go to properties and delegation and here you can see the domain controllers uh, have this setting by default trust this computer for delegation to any service uh, if you go to users you can also set the delegation uh, permissions to the users as well so we'll be seeing in that in the next video if you go to properties and go to attribute editor and go to user account control and if you edit this one so uh, you can see the flags server trust account trusted for delegation so this 
is very important one this identifies that this computer is trusted for delegation so we need to find for this uh, delegation and here you can see the number uh, must be minimum 524288 we need to fetch the user account control values for all the users and then we need to query for the flags which are minimum at this value and then we can convert these user account control to the num uh, flags and we can uh, see them and here we have another flag that is trusted to all for deletion so this will be given for the user accounts so we'll be seeing this in the next video and the main important thing is whenever the uh, computer is trusted for deletion uh, this uh, computer's lss process stores the tgd tickets in its memory so that means you need to have the administrator local administrator uh, privileges on this uh, delegated machine otherwise we cannot uh, extract the tickets from this so actually it's the same computer and we have already the we are already administrator so generally what happens is uh, we need to uh, wait for the administrator to access any of the uh, service on this web server so via this web server to this database server so the administrator domain administrator should visit this uh, web page and request some uh, resource and after that you will have the tgt stored in the lss uh, process memory so we can say kerberos tickets and we can actually export and here in this Uh, tickets you will see the administrator's ticket you can do the pass the ticket uh, attack to uh, escalate to domain administrator so we can uh, actually export them so it's so all of these uh, tickets will be placed on the desktop so that's why i created this folder and now you will see all of these uh in memory tickets so you can search for this uh administrator here you can see the administrator you can do the pass the ticket attack so we are already administrator uh, but in when we are uh, when the administrator has logged into this web server and access any of the uh, resources then you will have the ticket in the memory then you can dump and use this uh, ticket for the uh, escalation so this is uh, we can write a small c sharp code to find the uh, this delegated computers so this code is similar to the uh, previous videos of uh, asrep uh, 
finding so all you need to do is you need to change this user account control value to this uh, minimum of this 524288 and then we loop over the properties and then we'll be converting this uh, user account control to binary format and then we are uh, fetching all the flags and in those flags we will be uh, printing we are comparing if the uh, award has the derogation and then we are printing its same account name and all of the uh, user account control flags you can build this one So you can run this and here you can see unconditioned derogation accounts. The first one is win2016$ dollar. Uh, that is the computer machine dollar then and second one is the constraint derogation we will be seeing in the next video and the account is test2 and it also have this trusted to auth for derogation and, and the computer have trusted for derogation. So this is how you find the derogation accounts uh, it's very simple similar to the uh, we have done in the finding the ASRF uh, roastable user accounts. So that's all for this uh, video Kerberos unconstrained derogation. You need to find what computer accounts or user accounts have this derogation. And you need to also have the local administrator privileges on this machine. So you can dump the tickets from LSS memory. And also we need to uh, wait for the administrator to uh, log on to this web server and access the uh, records.